Hi, in this video, I'll be covering how to create a timesheet in Google Sheets. Do you track timesheets for people? Want a quick way to track and add up hours worked? Also, want to be able to share or collaborate on a sheet? A good solution is to use Google Sheets. The calculations are easy to do, and the sheet is all in the cloud and easily shareable. I'll cover two ways you can track time spent either in decimals, so you can multiply by some rate like 10 bucks an hour, or you can get the time spent in duration, like eight hours to 10 minutes. Easy to do, so let's check it out. Hi, this Google Sheets video, I'll cover how to create a timesheet. Now it's actually pretty simple to create a timesheet. Let's say for example, we have our table here We've got start dates, March 1st, 2nd, 3rd. Uh, maybe these are employees work, this employee work from eight to five on that day, then 8.35 to five and nine to three. So in order to do this, all you need to do is put equals that end time minus the start time. You can see Google's already kind of smart enough to figure out this is what we want to do. So I press enter and it also is smart to figure out, hey, you know, do you want to auto fill it down to the other areas? And I click yes. But one thing you notice here that it brings it back into a time. It says 9 a.m. And that's basically just the display. Now, what you need to do is just change it and go to format and go to number and have it change as a number. And this would indicate hours worked. Now you see this funny decimal, 0.38. Basically the way time is represented in the background is as a zero number. That number 0.38 control Z to undo. That basically is part of a 24 hour day. So 9 a.m. is nine hours that already transpired over 24 hours. If I do equals nine divided by 24, you're gonna get the same value, 3.75. Um, it made 3.8 because it rounded it. So if I, if, I rounded, if I rounded it down, it'd be 3.8. And so you can see that that's how Google Sheets sheets time. But that number gives us the ratio of the day. It's 38% of a 24 hour day. And before or after we do, it doesn't matter if we do it before or after, we need to multiply by 24. So I'm gonna wrap this amount, the uh, the calculation of that amount times 24, because 24 hours in a day, press enter, you'll see that it goes to 12 a.m. Let's fill this down. And now we will format the display and make it a number. And you can see that is nine hours. This is 8.42 hours. This is six hours, right? Nine to 12 is three hours. And then 12 to three is another three hours equals six. And so that's how we get our numbers. And of course, if we want to total it, we just do sum and then click on or select my range here, press enter, and we've got our total hours. And then we can multiply that by the hours worked. Now, if our start and end time span multiple days, it still works. Type equals end time minus start time, wrap that into parentheses and then times 24. It's going to give us the same thing, right? 24. There's a suggested autofill here. I'll click the check mark to take that. And you see here, this last one is 3-1 to 3-2. And this person worked or did something for 25 hours. You can see if we did something else, let's say they, they work more than 24 hours, Control-C to copy, Control-V to paste. And maybe I'm going to say 3-2-2022 and make this, I don't know, 11 a.m. And then drop the formula, copy the formula down here. That's 27 hours. Oh boy, that person worked a long time. Sum, and you see Google's kind of already kind of guessed that you want D10 to D13. Press enter to select that and that's 67 hours. And that's the decimal representation of the timesheet. But if we wanted to say, you know, how, how much somebody worked or did something, hours, minutes, seconds, you can use something called duration. So I'll just label this duration and the calculation is basically the same. So it's going to be that minus that. You don't need to put the 24 hours there. And I'll take this uh, suggested also here. What we're going to do is just have the display go to under format and go to number and we click duration. And that's where it's going to take that serial number and represent it as hours, minutes, and seconds. And then if we wanted to sum that, I'll just bring this sum formula over. Google will know what it's doing. And you can see it's 23 hours, 25 minutes, and zero seconds. And that's for duration. So if you wanted to see something in hours, minutes, uh, seconds, that's what it's going to represent for you. So that's what it will represent for you. So depending if you want to use hours or duration or both, you can put this into your timesheet. Making timesheets is not fun, but it can be easier to do if you set up some simple tables. Using Google Sheets should be as simple as it comes, and you don't even need to buy or subscribe to any fancy software. 
And since it's online, you can even share it with others to collaborate. To see more videos like this, click the banner at the end. Still here? Well, here's a joke. What do you call a funny mountain? Hilarious.